Hi there, good morning. So I just had a little interview with these guys asking me like where I'm from and how long I'm traveling for and stuff like that. The clip at the beginning was inside that store there. I was looking for breakfast stuff. However, I wasn't finding quite what I was looking for inside there. It looked like better quality food than 7-Eleven, but I knew that I could get uh, edible stuff for uh, breakfast there. So this is all from 7-Eleven. I will uh, show you what I got in a minute. So there are all these hot springs all around this uh, cute little town of Kusatsu. I am staying in a hotel down there that I showed in my last video. Just a five minute walk, which has its own private onsen. Onsen is hot spring inside it. I went into it yesterday and then again this morning. I'm not quite sure what the deal is here with the wooden contraptions with the water flowing through them. I still have to do some more uh, research. This is my first day here after coming by bus from Tokyo. But uh, first things first, I need to find a good spot to uh, have my breakfast and show you what's in the bag. And found a nice spot here. So here is the receipt. 1,685 Japanese yen. That is $11.30 US. The euro and the dollar are almost exactly even right now. So that's about the same in euros, like 1140 euros. So some, uh, I guess like napkins, and then one yogurt, strawberry, two yogurts, blueberry. So notice the English blueberry yogurt drink. So that is nice at least to know what it is, but that is it. No other English on here. And then a water. Some pistachios, an orange juice, 100%, that's what I want, no added sugar or anything, two cheesecake, and yes, there are some non-sweets in here. So uh, here is the meat of the matter, so to speak, a hot dog, pork hot dog, well you know what a hot dog looks like, so I'll just leave it in there. And then these ones, I definitely want to show what they look like. They're a little uh, different. So that is a beef potato something, and that is a seaweed something. I think there was something else in it, but uh, you can see the green there. All right, going to uh, munch on this and then get out and see more of Kusatsu. So I bet you guys are curious to hear what some of this stuff tastes like. So uh, let's do a little taste testing. The seaweed donut. I think there's some rice in there. It's all right. It's not amazing. A little bit weird, but uh, it'll work. I had the strawberry yogurt. That was very good. And I will finish that, but uh, let's go ahead with the uh, beef potato thing. Mmm. That's better. I don't see any beef in there. I guess it's... I don't know. Maybe there isn't beef in it. Maybe it's just a potato thing. Unless it's kind of hidden. Or maybe on that end. Let's see. Hmm. Seems like just a potato... Whatever dumpling. And then let's try the hot dog. It came with some ketchup and mustard. It tastes exactly like a hot dog, so that's good. The mailman there just collected the mail. So let's take a closer look at the uh, hot pools here. If you're curious what it smells like, it smells like sulfur. It is strong. I'm guessing that is too hot to jump in right there. Must be boiling.
That is where I ate dinner last night. Great spot. Really good pork katsu curry. Whoa, what is this weird building? It's like a medieval helmet. It's a restaurant. So I've been in Japan for a week now, and I haven't had sushi yet. That's kind of a crime. I will definitely rectify that sometime soon. North, south, east, west. But which is which? So something funny that happened is that the film crew that was there invited me to go to an onsen with them at the end of the interview. They were like going to one right then. I didn't go for it. First of all, because I was hungry and was just about to go have breakfast. Secondly, because I had you know plans to uh, walk around and film and stuff. But beyond that, then the idea of going to a you know, hot spring with a film crew of like 10 people was not exactly sounding like the relaxing you know, experience that I came here for. To uh, sit in a hot tub and meditate or whatever and just like trip out instead of being with a whole big group of people asking me questions and like I didn't have a swimsuit and like how far away is the place? Like that would have been who knows what sort of a uh, operation. It certainly would have been an experience, but uh, wasn't in the mood for it. One hundred scenic spots of peculiar smell. That is referring to a hundred hot springs in the area around the town here. Gunma Prefecture. Kusatsu town. So keep in mind that there's another Kusatsu in a different location in southern Japan. Hot water steam of Kusatsu Spa's Yubatake, field of hot water. It's known for its smell of sulfur coming from the hot spring. In 2001, the Ministry of the Environment chose Yubatake as one of a hundred scenic spots known for their peculiar smell. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. That is referring to a hundred different places with hot springs that smell like sulfur. It says, take a photo by yourself. So it's like a stand to uh, set your phone on and then get a uh, self-timer photo. So here is the town of Kusatsu. You are here. Yubatake. That is the hot spring waterfall thing. Now here is something on the map that I'm going to walk to. I am there, the blue dot. See the red pin and it says 3771711. I have no idea what is there. If you saw my last video, then I uh, took a bus from Tokyo to Kusatsu here. It took about uh, four hours, arrived at four in the afternoon, and then I was trying to find the uh, hotel that I had booked on my phone, and it wasn't coming up by the name, but then it came up as this number. I thought that maybe those numbers was just the address. It was just like, you know, a weird address for Japan. And so I was thinking that that must be the hotel's location. And so I get off at the uh, bus station there and I am debating whether or not to go ahead and walk up there 
or take a taxi that is sitting right there. Fortunately, I went ahead with the taxi and they then took me to my uh, hotel, which was just five minutes down the road from the uh, Yubataki thing there. If I had tried to find this place, it would have been a very frustrating experience of walking with my big backpack a mile up there somewhere and then finding whatever we're gonna find now, which isn't gonna be my hotel. And then I would have been confused and lost and not knowing what to do and probably would have just walked back down and then caught a taxi or whatever. But uh, anyways, just as a mission, I figured let's go see what's there and see some stuff along the way, which is to say looks really nice. This is such a lovely, peaceful town, the ultimate antidote to Tokyo, the crazy urban concrete sprawl. And then you add the hot springs and, you know, having a uh, great place to relax and to warm up from the chilly air. Let's check the temperature. I think it's in the 40s. 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So chilly, but uh, not too unpleasant, just kind of refreshing and invigorating. We have some... Hello. Oh, thank you very much. Arigato, thank you, thank you. Okay. Mmm. Nice and warm. Like maybe a plum. Sort of a jam in there. Tasty. So one thing that I learned is that you aren't really supposed to say just arigato. That's like really informal, something that you would just say to a friend of yours or something. The more formal is arigato gozaimashita. Let's uh, hear it. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimashita. Which is really a mouthful. When you think about how many syllables are in it, in English you can just say thanks, one. Or maybe thank you, too. Arigato gozaimashita. Eight. <laughs> but I'm going to try to learn that one so that I'm being a little more appropriate. Okay, so we still have like a 15 minute walk from here, but whoa, it's looking like an amazing, amazing walk. Now that I'm uh, heading up this way, I'm thinking that probably, once I got to this point, I probably would have realized like, oh, my hotel is probably not up there. And I would have turned around, but uh, let's do it anyhow. Wow, this is just unreal. Okay, we have an onsen somewhere right around here, I assume. Maybe right there. Let's see, is this cold or hot? I'm gonna guess it's cold water from the street. Oh no, that's hot. Don't drink the water, okay. So this is the just natural geothermal water. And that is definitely hot. Let's see how hot. It's nice, it's just a little bit too hot to want to soak in. The hot tub in my uh, hotel is also quite hot. Like, almost too hot to get into, but uh, it works. And you can cool it down a little bit with cold water as well. I wanted to confirm that this is cold water, I'm sure it's got to be. That can't be a... Uh... Hot 
Creek. I mean, it could be. They exist. But uh, I don't really want to fall in there. All right, all right, all right. Amazing gateway into the forest. And that is hot. That is very hot. Very, very hot. The Devil's Kettle Monument, Oni no Chagama. This monument is inscribed with a Tanka poem written by an unknown poetrist. In former times, the Sai no Kawara Park was called the Devil's Spring, and it is said that there were only few visitors. With hot water flowing out of the riverbank, the Devil's Kettle was a typical example of a hot spring. It derives its name partly from the bubbling noise of the spring, which sounds like a boiling kettle. When approaching the spring, the noise mysteriously stops, starting again when you leave. This strange phenomenon is believed to be due to the presence of devils. There is said to be another spring nearby known as the Devil's Tub. Whoa. Okay, so I guess this just goes up to a shrine. Let's see. Amazing. So we have an answer about the river. Sai no Kawara Park. The park located in the west of the Kusatsu Onsen Street is called Sai no Kawara. In former times it was called Devil's Lake. Nowadays, Devil's Kettle and Devil's Sumo Ring are still famous sites of Kusatsu. About 15,000 liter, liters of water per minute at a temperature of approximately 50 degrees Celsius gush from this source, forming a hot spring river. So there you go, it is hot water. Besides a big outdoor bath and the nature museum, busts of doctors Erwin Biltz, Julius Scriba, and the Tenka poet Mokichi Saito can be found. The beautiful scene of the four seasons can be enjoyed in this public park. So, a big outdoor bath. Maybe that's where all this is uh, leading to. And I didn't bring my swimsuit, but I do have underwear. I also don't have a towel. Yeah, it looks like this guy is drying off, so maybe uh, up there is the big outdoor pool that I'd seen on booking.com when I was booking my hotel. Okay, let's see how hot this water is.